numerical methods. In this video we look at the mean and standard deviation of data that's grouped and recorded in a frequency table. Okay, here's an example of uh, a grouped frequency table. You have these particular classes. So for instance this one here starts at 50 and it goes all the way up to but not including 60. This class here starts from 60 and goes all the way up to but not including 70 and so on. So first of all enter the data into your calculator. Mode option 2 here st statistics one variable turn on frequencies shift set up scroll down statistics is option 3 and 1 to turn on frequencies ok now to enter the data values here you can't put in a range, an interval like this, you know, 50 to 60, you can't put that in here. You need a single value of x to go into the calculator here. So think of the class midpoint. So this is 50 to 60, the midpoint is 55. This one is 60 to 70, the midpoint 65. This one's 70 to 80, Again, if you don't want to mentally work out the midpoint, you can put a calculation in, in here. So if I'm thinking, all right, that's 70 to 80, it's half way, so I'll do 70 plus 80 and then divide by 2. So you can do this. 70 plus 80 in brackets, divide by 2, which will give you 75. There you go. You know, 80 to 90, midpoint is 85. So if the numbers are easy to work with, you can work these out mentally. Um, if they're a bit more challenging, you can just use um, uh, the calculator to work out the midpoint for you. Okay, scroll down. That, that will take you to the top of the table. Sc uh, scroll to the right. Enter the frequencies. So the first one is 2. Press equals after each one. And then check your data. clear the display, shift, statistics, that's option one there, stat, you want the VAR, the variables, option here, option five, there's the mean, option two, make sure you press equals afterwards, because that's not the mean there, it's not zero, 73.3, the sample standard deviation again shift one variables there are two options here for the standard deviation option three is to be used when the data entered represents the whole population option four and this is the one that you would use most often is when the data entered represents a sample. I'm looking for the sample standard deviation, so option 4. Again, that's not the answer. You must press equals afterwards. So 8.74 8.74 is the sample standard deviation. In this example, we have continuous data so that could be um, uh, time, it could be length, volume, weight. And we have continuous data that's recorded in this grouped frequency table. Now, as before, you need to enter the data into your calculator, and you need class midpoints here. But there's one problem. When you have continuous data, you never have gaps between these classes. So as an example, the first class starts from 20 and goes to 29. The second one starts from 30 and goes to 39. 
But where this one ends, 29, and when this one starts, 30 is a gap. And to fill that gap, if you increase the 29 to 29.5, and you decrease the 30 to 29.5, so you're adding a half here, you're subtracting a half here, now there is no gap between these two. And for continuous data, you should never have gaps in between the classes. So this goes to 39, that starts at 40, that's another gap there, so if you meet halfway, this is 39.5, that's where this class goes up to. Okay, so this one here starts from 29.5, including the 29.5, all the way up to, but not including, 39.5. The next one starts from and including the 39.5, and goes all the way up to, but not including, 49.5, and so on. So we've got these. Class boundaries. So this one here would be 19.5, just following the same pattern. And the class midpoint will be what's halfway between these values, like the 19.5 and the 29.5, so you have to add them up, divide by 2 and so on. So on the calculator, for the first one, brackets, 19.5 plus 29.5, add them up in brackets, and then divide by 2. So 24.5. The next one, brackets, 29.5 plus 39.5 in brackets again, divide by 2. You can probably guess the rest. There's a, a nice pattern here, so 24.5, 34.5, 44.5, and then 54.5. Here, scroll down to go to the top of the table, scroll to the right, enter the frequencies, pressing equals after each one. Press the AC key to clear. Shift, one, variables. Option two for the mean, make sure you press equals afterwards. 44.6, that's the mean of that sample there. And the sample standard deviation, shift, one, variables, option four, press equals 10.9, 10.9. So that's how you enter grouped data into your calculator when you have continuous data with gaps between these classes. So the first thing we did here was to work out the, the, the actual class boundaries. And if you look at class boundaries where one class ends, the next one starts from exactly the same value. Okay, so these are your class boundaries. It's the class boundaries that you use to work out the midpoints. These values here, 20 to 29, 30 to 39, and so on, these class intervals do not represent the class boundaries because there were gaps between the values. That's 29, that's 30, that should be the same, it's not. So these are not the actual boundaries. That's 39, that's 40. Again, there's a gap between them. So these are not the actual boundaries, and so on.